Hi, this is Mike, and um, I'm going to be demoing the Threads tab from Java Flight Recorder. And I have the Flight Recorder I've been using for some of my other demos here pulled up. And I have the um, Threads tab group highlighted there. We have the Overview tab up. You can see here on this tab we're showing um, the CPU usage chart at the top. And you can see it's pretty low on this system, but pretty steady throughout. And we can see how many active threads, both uh, system and application there. And um, that's basically it for the overview uh, tab. Hot threads is similar to hot methods, but instead of focusing on methods, of course, it focuses on threads. So we can see here that event queue was the top one. <clears throat> was using, we're spending most of the time in that application thread. And so if I click on that, I can see which methods were being called from that um, event queue thread. And we can see here I've got detailed list of a number of different methods that uh, were called. So once again, you can go in and get the, uh, I can right click like so, expand the subtree and get the detailed call stack for that. Um, then the next tabs um, I'm going to show here in a sec. Um, uh, contention and um, lock instances that has to do if your application has some sort of a locking issue or contention issue so this demo that I've been using throughout uh, this series doesn't really have any of those so it's going to be empty um, in most applications that don't have any sort of locking issues it'll be blank like you see here so I'll show you an example of one here in just a second um, the final one here that I wanted to show is um, well, the, the next two, um, latencies, which shows um, where your application spends its time waiting, and most of that usually has to do with thread sleeps or um, just general waiting for the system to switch between threads. Um, and that's all charted here. Uh, pretty straightforward stuff. Um, and then finally, we have the, um, well, not finally, but uh, as far as this little um, recording we're going to talk about. You have a thread dump tab that shows all the thread dumps that were taken during your recording and typically um, by default I think it records uh, does a dump every minute during the recording and then here's you know it's just a big text window which shows all the information about the threads. So you can always copy and paste that and search it in a text editor or whatever. Okay so I have another flight recording, and of course you can have more than one open at a time. Um, and this is from an application that's used to count beans, is what it does. And you can see here this has quite a little bit higher, um, still pretty low, but a quite a little higher um, CPU utilization throughout its use. And let's look at the uh, contention tab. And see what we see there. And this time we have it uh, populated. We have a class here, uh, com that example that bean counter, and that one is having some. Um, so it's showing the top blocking locks. So we're having some locking issues there, and you can see by me clicking on it, I can get a stack trace and see that the. Um, uh, oops, excuse me. Let me expand that. There we go. I can see that the uh, count method is causing most of my waiting in the application. And I can also click and see which threads are causing, <clears throat> excuse me, are causing the most, are having the hardest time or, with locks and related uh, blocking issues. And this application has three, three different threads and you can see it's fairly even though one thread is a little bit higher than the other two. And um, once again, Similar, we have blocked threads and then blocking threads. So it's all, all the same three and from this same class. So if I look at latencies, you probably won't remember, but that we didn't have a monitor blocked. Um, and that's a pretty big percentage of our time waiting. So definitely something we'd want to investigate if we looked into that further. And we can see if I click on it, I can get a stack trace. And once again, that's related to the same method. So I'm beginning to see a pattern here. 
so then if I click on the lock instances um, tab, you're going to see di additional information about locks. And I can see once again that's the same class. And once again, we have a fairly long duration there. And the reason the time is more, if you notice that the recording is only six minutes and this is actually seven minutes, and that has to do that we have multiple threads waiting. And um, I can see once again, I have the class there, and then I've got, um, once again, the thread trace showing what's going on. Um, I can look into the details of what's getting called by what. And um, I can see once again by threads, which are the top ones being uh, are either blocking or in this case blocking and we have threads one two and three so I can go into my source code and I probably want to take a look at the count thread and see what's going on what's causing my locking slash contention issues for this application so that's what the um, threads tab group is for <laughs>